it's mostly if your horse won't take the correct lead it's because they're unbalanced or disorganized in their body your job as the rider is to help them find that balance and organization so hello everyone in today's video i'm going to show you how to get the correct lead in the canter let me know in the description if you're having trouble picking up a canter lead and which lead you're struggling with also check out the description i have a free pdf on the canter, which will help you even more with your canter than this video. But to start out with, it's important to understand the mechanics of the canter transition and of the canter itself. So I'm just gonna pick up trot here. And to ask for the correct lead, let me just talk you through how to do it correctly first, because I always think it's important to have a vision of how to do it correctly. So the first thing is that there's a left lead and there's a right lead canter. So if I want my horse to go on left lead canter, he has to be bending in his body to the left. So how can I tell if he's bending to the left? I can see his inside eyelash and I'm going around onto a curved circle line. So I'm imagining my imaginary circle line in front of me. I'm thinking about a tunnel between my two legs and he's flowing forward on the circle line. Once I have my horse bending to the inside, that's a big prerequisite for the canter aid. Then the next thing I do is inside leg at the girth, outside leg behind the girth, half halt and pick up the canter. That was not my best canter transition ever. But now looking at the canter, understand the left lead canter. So left lead canter, if you watch, the sequence of the footfalls is right hind leg, that's beat one. Beat two is left hind leg and right front leg. And beat three is the left front leg. So it's one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. You'll also notice it's called left lead canter because the left front and the left hind are going forward first. It's a lot easier for your horse to turn left on left lead canter. So that's why it's important to get the correct lead is because it puts your horse in a better balance. So that's the mechanics of the canter. Now what happens a lot of times is that horses aren't set up for the correct lead. And believe it or not, horses actually trot on one lead or the other. So what happens is that if you're going around and your horse is counter bent, so like see how here my horse is looking to the right, he's no longer looking to the left. What happens there is that then the right front starts to swing out more forward. So if I put my left leg back, then you see how he picks up the right lead. Now you can see how that's a lot more unbalanced for him. And he rather quickly broke back into the trot. So what I need to do to get the left lead is I need to think about sending him forward, bending him to the inside, sending him forward, bending him to the inside, and then ask. So the bend is super important. The other thing that's super important is where you ask your horse to pick up the canter. So a really good place to ask your horse to pick up the canter is right when they're coming to the rail on the way back to the barn. So like our barn is over there because wherever your horse is drawn to, like when you're trotting on a circle and you feel that they kind of want to turn and go that way, that's always a good place to ask for the canter so that they will get the correct lead. You don't wanna ask at the point on the circle where your horses go like not wanting to turn. And when you're first teaching your horse the leads, you need to wait to ask for the moment where you feel like your horse is set up and that they're probably going to take the lead. So later on in your training, you'll get to where like, okay, I'm gonna canter on an E. 
But right now, if your horse is having trouble with the lead, you need to just trot and trot and trot and feel that moment of like, okay, I feel like he's trotting on the right lead, his right lead, he's bending to the right. Now I can ask for the canter. So ask when your horse is ready rather than just trying to ask at an exact point in the arena. Good boy. And then make sure that your position is correct. So make sure that your inside leg is at the girth. You should have slightly more weight on your inside seat bone. So not like leaning to the inside, um, but you should have a little more weight on your inside seat bone to help your horse find that correct lead. Your horse must be bending to the inside. Those are all just super important things. The other thing that I would recommend trying if you're having trouble picking up your lead, in addition to always asking as you come to the rail or into a corner, you never want to ask down a straightaway or on a long side. That's the most difficult place to pick up the correct lead. You could also try the snowman exercise. I'll link to that in the description box. The snowman exercise is a really good exercise if you have a horse that's kind of just drifting to one side and you can't really get them even between your legs. Um, that's a really good exercise. You can also try a leg yield into your canter transition. But basically, it's just a matter of feeling the right moment and getting your horse properly set up for the correct lead. That's the biggest thing to help you with your canter lead. And then just being persistent about it because I know like a lot of off the track thoroughbreds, they're not taught about left lead and right lead. And so you have to teach them that there is a difference and you have to teach them the correct preparation and the correct aid for it. So for example, if I'm having a lot of trouble and I just can't get the correct lead, I kind of keep trying and keep trying and keep trying. And then when I get the correct lead, I'll let my horse canter for a circle or two and then give them a nice long break and really pet them, take them up again, and then try to ask for the lead in the same place using the same pattern. And just really make sure to reward your horse when you do get that correct lead because it's mostly, if your horse won't take the correct lead, it's because they're unbalanced or disorganized in their body. Your job as the rider is to help them find that balance and organization. So I hope this video has helped you to find your correct lead. And don't forget to download your free canner PDF. Thanks for watching. Give us a big thumbs up and subscribe. It helps us to reach more people and my mission is dressage for all. So thanks for being here. Thank you.